we were built for life in the spirit, but the key to living in the spirit is to keep on growing in the spirit. The beauty of the spirit is that it is inexhaustible. You cannot reach the end of the spirit of God. So because there is always more in God, then you and I always have the privilege and even the responsibility of growing in God. The Lord is good. Luke 2, 52, and the text reads this way. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Let me read that one more time. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. The description of Jesus in the text seems to give us tips that help us to ensure that we keep on growing. I want to suggest this morning that growing requires you and I to be purposeful. Let the church say purposeful. The text says that Jesus grew in wisdom and stature. Wisdom is the appropriate application of knowledge. It is not simply the accumulation of knowledge. It is applying it properly. But stature is the, the maturity of age. It is how you grow from 13 to 35. It is how you appear before people. But please don't miss that the two are separated because the suggestion here is that it's possible to grow in stature and not grow in wisdom. That's because stature grows automatically, but wisdom grows intentionally. You are always going to grow older, but you've got to choose to grow up. I wonder if there's a witness on any seat this morning that believes that God is preparing you for your next season. Believe that God has things that you can't understand that are already prepared for you. Aren't you glad that God still has his hand on you, still continuing to make ways for you? That's why Paul says, I count myself not to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. I came to tell you that God has great things in store for you. Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what God has in store for you simply because you love him. Anybody is happy to be in the house of 